You're probably aware of how traumatic an eviction may be if you or someone you know has experienced one. Sadly, with house prices surging to record highs, America is today experiencing the worst housing affordability crisis in history. Since it is essential for integrating into society, having access to sufficient housing ought to be a fundamental right. People without adequate housing are left living on the edges, however, and their fundamental freedoms are not protected by the Constitution, given the current housing situation in the U.S. Evictions have been an increasing problem in the U.S. since the turn of the century, but things have gotten considerably worse since the pandemic. Every day, families are forced into the streets, with those with low incomes being the most vulnerable. According to recent figures, 50% of all renters in the nation are struggling to pay their rent, and 14 million households continue to be at risk of being evicted for failing to make payments. Housing advocates are using phrases like eviction tsunami and eviction floodgate to characterize the astonishing increase in cases they are seeing as this problem reaches catastrophic dimensions. This issue is unlike anything we've ever encountered. And in today's video, we've gathered some ominous stats and data to highlight just how serious this worrying scenario is. Here are 10 eviction-related facts that will make Americans panic. Number one, the amount of evictions in the United States during the previous two years has been astonishing. 5.6 million families have been evicted from their homes. That number exceeds New Zealand's whole population, an estimated 19 million individuals, or the entire population of Romania, have been displaced. Consider the simultaneous eviction of every resident of New York City, Los Angeles, and Chicago to put this into perspective. Millions of Americans are currently dealing with this catastrophe, which is difficult to comprehend given its immense scope. The Princeton Eviction Lab, a team of research focused on examining the consequences of eviction on communities around the nation, gathered this data. According to their research, eviction can have terrible effects on families, leaving them homeless, more financially precarious, and even suffering from health issues. It's obvious that this is a serious problem that has to be addressed right away. In order to support those who are fighting to keep a roof over their heads, society as a whole must work to address the underlying reasons for eviction and develop solutions. Nobody ought to have to go through the anguish of losing their house and being uprooted from their neighborhood. Number two, imagine waking up each day to the sound of a courtroom gavel crashing as yet another family confronts the dreadful prospect of being evicted. In America, where there are on average more than 6,300 eviction cases per day, that is a sobering fact. To put that in perspective, it would be like the entire town's population is in danger of losing their houses once every 24 hours. It's a startling figure that illustrates the country's pervasive housing crisis. What's even more troubling is that of all other industrialized West nations, according to the firm, the U.S. has the greatest daily number of eviction filings. It's a frightening reality that emphasizes how vital it is to take action and find answers to this problem. Communities are affected by eviction in a variety of ways, which puts families, many of whom are already struggling to make ends meet, through enormous amounts of stress and disruption. Eviction can have severe repercussions that can take years to heal from, including homelessness and job loss. Number three, an alarmingly high eviction rate of 3.7% was experienced in the United States in 2022, virtually matching the pre-pandemic eviction rate that had been reported shortly before the eviction moratoriums were placed in place in March 2020. This indicates that despite attempts to reduce evictions throughout the pandemic, the nation continues to have a housing crisis that threatens the stability and well-being of millions of people. In a never-ending game of whack-a-mole, every time one issue is resolved, a new one arises to take its place. The eviction crisis is but one symptom of a much broader issue, and the epidemic has harshly exposed the pervasive injustices and shortcomings of our housing system. It's a sobering reminder that we can't get comfortable or give up on trying to solve this problem because the eviction rate is almost back to pre-pandemic levels. We must maintain advocating for laws and solutions that aid and safeguard people who are battling to keep a roof over their heads. Number four, there is an uneven distribution of the eviction issue in the United States, with some cities seeing noticeably greater rates of eviction than others. The eviction rate might reach 10% in places like Jackson, Mississippi and Richmond, Virginia, which means that 10% of the renters living there are forced out of their houses each year. This astounding number reflects the pervasive injustices and deficiencies of the housing systems in these areas. It is obvious that there is a fundamental mismatch between the expense of living and residents' capacity to pay for essentials like housing. Number five, the National Low Income Housing Coalition has uncovered the alarming fact that evictions disproportionately affect low-income Americans. There is a shocking 7.2 million unit lack of affordable and accessible rental housing for renters with extremely low incomes. This increases the likelihood that millions of people may lose their homes and experience financial uncertainty. Researchers found that 64% of these low-income renters are compelled to spend at least 55% of their income on housing, leaving them with little to no room for unforeseen costs or emergencies. 
but not just areas with low incomes are impacted. According to a report by the Urban Institute, the communities with the lowest rates of full-time employees and the greatest rates of gig workers also had the highest eviction rates. This emphasizes even more the connection between unstable housing and precarious work. Number six, new data from Harvard's Joint Center for Housing Studies has been published, and it presents a sobering portrait of the American housing affordability dilemma. According to the survey, rent costs are generally unaffordable for the bottom 10% of income earners in all 50 states. Low-income workers are unable to buy a modest one-bedroom flat, even in 93% of the 218 counties examined in the study. This serves as a stark reminder of the precarious circumstances many low-income Americans endure while trying to make ends meet. The report also showed that roughly 46% of middle-class Americans did not have enough income to pay the rent for a one-bedroom flat in the current market. Number seven, middle-class Americans are being evicted at an unprecedented pace in several parts of the nation. Given that the middle class is frequently viewed as a representation of stability and financial security, this is a worrying development. Americans with low income are not the only ones affected by the housing crisis in the country. Even individuals who are categorized as the middle class struggle to maintain their standard of living. This is a worrying indication of the pervasive, deep-seated inequality in American culture and the pressing need for remedies that deal with the problem's underlying roots. Number 8. Recent numbers showed a 55% increase in evictions of middle-class homes in Cleveland, Ohio over the past year. These results serve as a sharp reminder that the housing crisis and homelessness are problems that affect all Americans, not just those with low incomes. The importance of these numbers was emphasized by Scott Allard, a professor of public policy at the University of Washington in Seattle and an authority on suburban poverty. He pointed out that they draw attention to the reality that homelessness and unstable housing affect a large segment of society, not simply those who are poor. This is an important realization that emphasizes the pressing need for comprehensive answers to this intricate and diverse issue. Number 9. Currently, most middle-income households renting a two-bedroom flat in most urban regions must pay 41% of their monthly wages in rent. This indicates that a sizable part of their income is spent on housing costs, leaving less available for other necessary needs. Number 10. For the first time ever, 44 million American renters are spending at least 30% of their income on rent, marking a historic milestone for the country. According to data by the ICHS, this amounts to roughly 50% of all renter households in the nation being categorized as cost burden. The entire share of households with severe rental difficulties has increased by about 40% since 2015, which is a concerning trend that has been on the rise recently. These results highlight the urgent requirement for successful policies and programs to address the affordable housing crises in the market. More and more Americans are being forced to choose between paying their rent and taking care of other basic requirements as the cost of living rises and salaries don't keep up. What are your opinions on this? Let us know in the comment section down below. Don't forget to hit subscribe and turn on notifications for more such news and updates. Thanks for watching guys and we'll see you at the next one.